Hello students, this is our third class on locus. In this class, we are going to discuss some complicated problems on locus. So here are a few workout examples. Number one, find the locus of a point which moves so that it is equidistant from the points one comma two and two comma minus three. Here, question is talking about locus, so we need a moving point here. And we suppose moving point as P x comma y. Let the moving point be P x comma y. Now, P is moving, so we have plotted a moving point here, P x comma y. Question has given us the geometrical condition that this particular P x comma y is moving so that it is equidistant from the point A, one comma two, and B, two comma minus three. So here we have A, one comma two, and B, two comma minus three. Now P starts moving. It moves in such a way that its distance from A and from B are equal. That is PA equals to PB. Wherever it reaches on this locus, it satisfy the same condition that it is at equidistance from the point A and the point B. Look here, wherever it reaches, we have PA equals to PB. So geometrical condition of this locus is PA equals to PB. Now we are solving this problem. That is, we are finding the equation of the locus. For that, we use this geometrical condition. In this condition, we have PA and PB. So we find PA and PB. Look here, for the distance between P x comma y and A one comma two, we are using distance formula. That is root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here, value of x1 y1 is p x comma y and value of x2 y2 is a 1 comma 2 so using this p and a coordinates we calculate the distance of p a so we have this much after simplification that is after using a minus b whole square we have this much on calculating, that is adding this one and four, we have the expression like this. This one is the expression for PA. Similarly, we are going to calculate PB also because in this geometrical condition, we have PB. So we are trying to find the expression for PB also. Since PB is the distance between P and B, again, we use here the distance formula that is root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. In this expression, we have value of x1, y1 is P, x comma y and value of x2, y2 is B, 2 comma minus 3. So substitute the values, we have this much. This is the substitution of the value. Now, another step is, the in the first part, we have uh, used the A minus B whole square, whereas in this second part, we have taken 
minus common. When we take minus common from both of these terms, we three becomes plus and y becomes plus. We have minus there, but since the square is there, minus square means plus. So we have this expression here. Now, opening the whole square for the so second term also, we have this much on simplification. We have 13 minus 4x plus x square plus 6y plus y square. Now, look here. We had earlier this expression PA equals to PB. Now, we are substituting the algebraic expression in this part, in both of the parts. We have the expression for PA as well as we have expressions for PB from here. Now, substitute it. PA equals to this one, minus, I mean, sorry. PA equals to uh, root under five minus two X plus X square minus four Y plus Y square is equal to is there. Substitute the expression for PB also. That is root under 13 minus 4x plus x square plus 6y plus y square. Now only the simplification is left over. Uh, to simplify it, first of all, we remove the root on both sides. That is squaring on both sides. We get this expression, square and root, both are eliminated at once. So we have on the left hand side, 5 minus 2x plus x square minus 4y plus y square. Similarly, we have right hand side this much. Now the simplification is there. Removing x square from both sides and removing y square from both sides, we have this much. That is 5 minus 2x minus 4y, 13 minus 4x plus 6y. Now, shifting all the right hand side in the left hand side, that is 13 becomes minus 13, minus 4x becomes plus 4x, plus 6y becomes minus 6y, and we have zero in the right hand side there. Now, simplificating, we have this much. So, taking two common, that is x minus 5y, Minus 4 is inside the bracket. Now dividing both sides by 2, we have this expression. So this is the required locus of a point PXY. That is, we have expressed this geometrical condition in the equation form, which is the locus of the point PX, Y. Example two, find the locus of a point which moves so that its distance from the point minus two comma three is always thrice its distance from the point zero comma two. Question is asking to find the locus of a point. So we need moving point. Here we suppose moving point be P X comma Y. Let the moving point be P X comma Y. According to the question, it says this point P, X, Y is moving so that its distance from the points A minus 2 comma 3 is always twice its distance from the point B 0 comma 2. That is three times its distance from the point B 0 comma 2. Question is giving us to fix point. So, A minus two comma three is the first fixed point and B zero comma two is another fixed point. Now P X comma Y is the moving point. The condition of P X comma Y is such that its distance from A is three times its distance from B. That is, if 
PB is one unit, then PA should be three times of one, that is three units. Now, the point P moves on. It reaches here. This is the new position of the point P. It also satisfies the same condition. Wherever the P moves, it satisfies the condition that its distance from A is three times the distance from B. That is, if B is two units, we should have the distance from A is three times of two, that is six units. This is two units and uh, PA is three times of PB. Again, it moves ahead. Now it reaches here. Here also it satisfies the same condition. That is, if the distance from B is three units, then it, its distance from A must be nine units here. So it moves on like this and the locus of the point is this path shown by the blue dashed line. So the geometrical condition according to the question mentioned here is distance from B is always three times. Eh? Distance of B while multiplied with three, we get the distance of uh, P from A. Once again, let's re repeat it. Look here, its distance from A, that is PA, is, is equal to here, three times is multiplied by three, and distance from the point B is PB. So this one is the geometrical condition mentioned here in the question. Now we are solving the question. That is, we are finding the locus in the equation form. So we are converting this geometrical condition into the equation form in our next, next slide. So we are solving it. Let's solve it. Question, once again, I'll repeat here. Find the locus of a point which moves so that its distance from the point minus two comma three is always twice its distance from the point zero comma two. Solution is here. It is talking about locus. So let us suppose the moving point P x comma y. Let the moving point be P x comma y. This point P x comma y is moving so that its distance from the points A minus two comma three is always three times its distance from the point B zero comma two. So by question, we have this geometrical condition as we have discussed in our previous slide here, PA equals to three PB. Question is telling about the distance from A. So we have PA is, that is is equal to three times means multiple of three. It's distance from B, that is PB. This one is the geometrical condition. Now we are going to convert this geometrical condition in the equation form. For that, we are going to calculate PA first. Since PA is the distance between P and A, we are using the distance formula here. PA equals to root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here, value of x1 and y1 is p x comma y and value of x2 y2 is a minus 2 comma 3. Substitution of value is here, then simplification is here. 
the first part using the a plus b whole square, we have this much. And the second part using a minus b whole square, we have this much. In this first part, we have taken the minus common as we have explained earlier. On simplification, 4 and 9 will get added and it is 13, it is here. This is the expression for PA. Now for this geometrical condition, we need PB also. So we are calculating PB and using the distance formula, we have x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Here also, x1, y1 is the value of px comma y and x2, y2 is the value for b2 comma minus 3. Look here students, we are finding the expression for pb uh, using the distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square x1 y1 is the value of p x comma y whereas x2 y2 is the value of b that is 0 comma 2 substituting the values we have 0 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square and simplification of this one that is 0 minus x is minus x square for this one using 4 minus 4y plus y square that is using the a minus b whole square formula. So we have expression for pb is root under x square plus 4 minus 4y plus y square. Now we are going to substitute both of these expressions on the given geometrical condition that is PA equals to 3PB. Substitute the value of PA like this and substitute the values for PB. 3 is as it is. We have to remove the square root here. So we square both sides. Squaring both sides, we have this much. In left hand side, square and root get cancelled. But here in the right hand side, squared is shared by 3 as well as this one. So we have 9 x squared plus 4 minus 4y plus y squared because square is shared by 3 also. Now, multiplying the whole this expression by 9, we get this much. Now simplification is here taking all the uh, terms of left hand, sorry, all the terms of right hand side to the left hand side. That is 9x square becomes minus 9 square, 9x square, 36 becomes minus 36, minus 36y is plus 36y and plus 9y square is minus 9y square. Now again one more simplification is here that is 13 and minus 36 are like terms they are numeric values so we have minus 23 so 4x is here this x square and minus 9x square they are like terms so they are subtracted here again uh, here minus 6y is here and plus 36y is here. They are like terms. So they get subtracted and we have 30y minus 6y plus 36y is 30y and we have y square and minus 9y square, we have this much as minus 8y square. So this one is the expression, arranging it and taking minus common. And we have right hand side equals to zero. 
when we take minus common here, minus 23 is plus 23, plus 4x becomes minus 4x, minus 8x square becomes plus 8x square, plus 30y becomes minus 30y, and minus 8y square becomes plus 8y square. Now multiplying both sides by minus, we have this step and arranging, we have this much. This is the required locus of the point Px comma y, which satisfy Pa equals to 3Pb. That is distance from P to A is twice its distance from B. This is one is the required locus. 8x square plus 8y square minus 4x minus 30y plus 23. Another example. A minus 7 comma 0 and 7 comma 0 are two fixed points. Find the locus of a moving point P at which AB subtends a right angle. Question is telling that A, this A, the first point, minus 7 comma 0 and B, 7 comma 0 are two given fixed points. As we have to find out the locus, we need a moving point. So we have suppose a moving point B, P X comma Y. This moving point P X comma Y moves such that A B subtends or right angle at P. Here it is. It is telling A and B are two fixed points here. A is there minus 7 comma 0 and B is 7 comma 0. These two are fixed points. And P is moving or position P of P should be there such that this AB subtends 90 degree right angle at P. So it is its position. Now it moves on. While moving, it satisfies the property that AB always subtends 90 degree at P. Now P reaches here from this P, it moves here. Now its position is here. Wherever its position, it satisfies the same condition that AB should make. This AB should make 90 degree with at P. That is, AB should subtend 90 degree at P. Again, it moves ahead. Now its position is here. Satisfying the geometrical condition that AB subtends right angle at P, we have this one. That is, AB should subtend angle 90 degree at P. That is, A, P, B should be 90 degree wherever it goes. Look here, the, in the first position, angle A, P, B is 90 degree. The second position is also here, angle A, P, B, 90 degree, and third one also same. Again, it moves ahead, it reaches here. Initially, it was here, then it slightly starts moving, because satisfying the condition like this. Again, it starts moving like this, it reached here. Again, it moved here, further it moves, satisfying the same condition, and it reaches here. And further it moves and it reaches here. While reaching here, it should satisfy the same condition. That is, AB should make 90 degree at P. AB should make 90 degree at P. This is the position. Again, it moves forward and comes here. Satisfying the same condition, that is, AB should make 90 degree at P. 
the 90 degree look like here, like this one. So it is here. Again, it moves forward here. This one is the P, X, Y. Now the path look here, the path becomes like this. Initially it was here, it moved there and again to the another position. Now in A, again here, while it moves, it completes a circle. But the geometrical condition here mentioned is AB must always subtends right angle at P. So this condition, we are writing a mathematical statement. That is, look here, uh, by question, we have APB is 90 degree. Always, wherever it reaches, we always have APB is 90 degree. So in all the figure, AB is the hypotenuse. In all the triangles, AB is the hypotenuse. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we have PA square plus PB square equals to AB square. So this is the geometrical condition given by the question. Since AB makes right angle at P, we have APB is 90 degree and AB is hypotenuse. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we have PA square plus PB square equals to hypotenuse AB square. Square of the hypotenuse, that is AB square. This is the explanation of the question. Now we are solving the problem, solving the question in our next slide. Once again, I repeat the question, the same question. A minus seven comma zero and B seven comma zero are two fixed points. Uh, find the locus of a moving point P at which AB subtends right angle at P. So here A seven comma a minus seven comma zero and B seven comma zero are two fixed points. So we made it here. These two are fixed points. Question is telling that P must be moving in such a way that AB subtends right angle at B. So this one is P here and AB is here. It subtends right angle at P like this. So we have a right angle triangle. And we will calculate PA here. PA using the distance formula. P is X1, Y1 and uh, B, sorry, A is X2, Y2. Substituting the value of X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 we have this much. So on ca further calculation, we have this minus and minus will get multiplied. We have plus here, plus y square. On using the formula for a plus b whole square, we have this much. So this one is pa and pa square we have x square plus y square plus 14x plus 49. Similarly, we calculate for PB square using the distance formula, we have this much. X1, Y1 is PX comma Y and X2, Y2 is B7 comma zero. On simplification, we have this much. Also, we can calculate AB square using the distance formula. So we have this much, 14 square, it is 196. And now we have expressions for PA square, PB square, AB square. And AB square, we have the value 196. According to the condition, by the given question, we have angle APB is 90 degree. 
it is telling AB subtains 90 degree at P. So AB is hypotenuse and using the Pythagoras theorem that we have discussed in our previous slide, we have PA square plus PB square equals to AB square. It is here in the figure also. Hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus base square. Then substituting all is all its values as well as expression for P A square and P B square. We have this much. This is the P A square plus is here. Again, we have P B square. We have taken these things from here and equals to is here and A B square is 196. We have calculated here. Now only the simplification is left over. We have this much x square and x square these two are like term they get added y square and y square are also like term they get added like it is here and 14x and minus 14x get subtracted uh, they are cancelled because one is positive and one is negative here and 49 plus 49 is 98 so we have nine 196 in the right hand side again uh, bringing 196 in the left hand side and subtracting we have this much now taking two common we have x square plus y square minus 49 is left over inside the bracket and dividing both sides by 2 we have x square plus y square minus 49 equals to 0 which is the required locus of a point p x comma y such that it is here at P, it is always 90 degree subtended by AB. Another example, number four. Find the equation of locus of a point such that the sum of squares of its distance from A, 1, comma 2, and B three comma four is always twenty five units. Let's solve it. Here we need a moving point, so we suppose it as P x comma y. The condition is here. P x comma y is moving so that the sum of squares of its distance from A and B is twenty five units. Here A and B are two fixed points a is here and b is here they are two fixed points then pxy is here it satisfies the condition that this pa square of the distance from a and the square of the distance from b when we add it, we must get 24. So, question is telling the sum. Sum means addition. We have the plus sign here. Sum, we have to do of PA square. That is square of the distance from A. Square of PA here and square of the distance from B, that is PB square. We have to add these two things. Question is telling. Once again, I repeat the condition. P is moving so that the sum of the distance, no, sorry, sum of the squares of the distance, sum of square of the distance, that is distance square plus PB square, another square of the distance. When we add it, when we sum it, that is is, we have 25 units. Question is telling this one. So I have written here, PA square plus PB square is 25. That is sum of the square of the distance from A and square of the distance from B is 25. 
this is the geometrical condition for this geometrical condition we are finding pa using distance formula that is pa square equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square on substituting the values that is x1 y1 is p and x2 y2 is a substituting the values we have this much on simplification that is using a minus b whole square we have this expression then furthermore simplification 4 and 1 will get added we have this much this is the expression for p a square similarly we calculate p b square using distance formula we have this much on simplification 16 and 9 will get added this much we have now this condition we are mentioning it again by question it is telling that p a square plus p b square equals to 25 we are substituting the expressions for p a and p b this much is p a square square of p a we have this much and square of p b from here we have this much so right hand side is 25 now let's do simplification x square and x square are like terms they get added y square and y square also like term they get added again 2x and 6x are there and 4y and 8y are there and five is here this 25 and from the right hand side 25 both are removed eliminating 25 from both the sides we have this expression which is the required locus of a point p x comma y this is the geometrical condition given by the question we have converted into the equation form which is the required locus now one more example number five a 1 comma 2 and b 5 comma 3 are two fixed points find the locus of a point p so that p a is to p b equals to 2 is to 3 so here the ratio of p a and p b are given so we solve like this moving point we require so we suppose it as p x comma y the condition we mention here p x y is moving so that p a is to p b equals to 2 is to 3 we calculate p a using the distance formula root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square substituting the values as before we have this expression and one more step simplification 4 plus 1 is 5 and this much we have P. again we calculate pv using the distance formula substitution of value we get this much using the a minus b whole square formula inside it we have this much one more step simplification we have this much now we have p a and p b both now given condition is this much p a upon p b equals to 2 by 3 this geometrical condition is given by the question i have copied it from here now substitute the value for p a and p b p a and p b both are substituted here right hand side is as it is since uh, okay here what we did is we cross multiply it 3 comes here to multiply it with numerator and this one goes to right hand side to multiply it by 2 
So squaring both sides, we have this much in the left hand side and right hand side, we have this much. Now this square is shared by three as well as this root. So when this square is shared by three, we have nine and the root is removed because there is square present here. Similarly, in the left hand side, the square is shared by, sorry, in the right hand side, uh, the square is shared by two. So we have four here and this root is removed uh, with the help of square. Now only the simplification is left over. Whole bracket is multiplied by nine in the left hand side and in the right hand side, this bracket is multiplied by uh, four. Then simplification, uh, we bring all those things in the right hand side to the left hand side and we have this much as the result which is the required locus of a point px comma y okay this much for today with the help of these workout examples you will be able to solve the problems given in the homework section uh, okay students bye bye